In this video, we'll take a look at one of the most basic aspects of trading, and that is going to be support and resistance. So support and resistance is exactly what it sounds like. It is support for price or resistance to price. So for example, a place where price won't drop below. So that is support there as the market continues to find buyers in this general vicinity, just as this was resistance as the markets kept trying to break above there, but could not actually accomplish that. Now, supported resistance tends to um, form at large round figures, and uh, as a result, you can use that to your advantage. In order to do this on trading view, you click on the line tool, the horizontal line tool, and then you just place it right on the chart. You can drag from the oval here, and this brings up something a bit interesting. So. As you can see, I can right-click this and uh, go down to the settings, the coordinates. I can make it 240 even. And most of the time, you will find that price tends to respect these round numbers, like I said. Now, there is an area that has been supportive, a little bit of a range here, just below 240. And as we broke higher in Ethereum on the daily chart, we finally plunged through it, and it offered resistance. You quite often see that it's market memory. So what I use to illustrate this a lot of times will be the idea of a high rise. So say you've got four floors here, floor one, floor two, floor three, floor four. And if you take the stairs or the elevator up to the second floor, what was once the ceiling now becomes your floor. Just as if you drop from the fourth floor to the third floor, what was once your floor becomes the ceiling. It's kind of the same thing in technical analysis. Let me go ahead and draw a couple of other lines and you will see that as I draw these out, it becomes apparent that this market, Ethereum, seems to like uh, these levels right around every $40 or so. You can make an argument for these are areas you should be trading from. Quite often what people will do is they'll look for support or resistance in the marketplace on higher time frames and then perhaps drill down to a lower time frame to see how it behaves. That's getting a little ahead of where we're at now, but what this does suggest to you is that markets, in fact, are not random and they do have little roadmap, uh, kind of like posts and signs. You can think of it as opening up a map seeing that there are directions, there are turns and twists in the road, very similar here. By simply drawing these four lines, you can see how different the market suddenly looks. So, like I said, a lot of times they will uh, tend to appear near a large round number. So you can click on a horizontal tool, a horizontal line tool, and you can drag this bubble until you find several places where price either does or, or doesn't go above or doesn't go below. So, for example, you can see right here there's obviously some trouble right around the um, $43 level. And you can see that uh, as price kept trying to get there, it kept running into a lot of issues. You can also make an argument for right around here, this would be basically $85. Again, that's a round, that's a big figure. Um, you know, you can quite often go into these markets and like I said, you start to see a pattern. So for example, let's see what 75 has to say here in Litecoin. You can see 75 was somewhat important. You can see several times where buyers and sellers came in. Um, there was resistance there. There was support there. There was resistance there, et cetera, et cetera. You can uh, begin to, as you trade markets, you can begin to kind of get a feel for what they, they tend to like. Okay, so Litecoin here, you can see 70 has had an effect on price. 
So I'm going to take a wild guess and say that we're probably looking at about $15 intervals or so. Um, so let's try 55. And again, it won't be perfect necessarily. Uh, it never really is. But you can start to see that there is a pattern to this. Um, and if you really split hairs, you can talk about, you know, for example, uh, maybe uh, are we going to be seeing, you know, $5 increments? Well, there, there's probably a reaction on a short enough time frame. Uh, so you don't want to go crazy. What you want to see is something rather obvious. And then you kind of put it around the round number, typically. So, for example, this is an area for me that I think shows support several times, resistance several times. It's basically $65. I could also make an argument about the $50 level. You can see certainly there are several reactions. In the next video, we're going to talk about another type of support and resistance based upon Fibonacci.